Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Relapse Tackle. In this uh, video, I'm going to be showing how to paint again with Stardust. We're going to be painting with the Green Pumpkin Green. We're going to do some um, three quarter ounce football heads with a five aught mustad hook. Um, this is some that I just painted. So, watch the whole video if you'd like to see how to paint them. Make them look just like this. So, I'm using these jig clamps. Like if those ones I got from TJ Tackle, or TJ's Tackle, I mean. Um, so, I got these all prepped and ready to go. Sorry about the noise. One thing I did not get ready though was my bullpens. So we're going to use the Teflon. Sorry about that. We're going to use these. They call them Teflon. I don't know if they're PTFE or whatever the heck they are, but they sell them as Teflon pins. They work really well. So, and they work really well for pouring in the jigs also. And then my tank that I painted up real nice. And refilled. So, what you want to do is take your prep jig, make sure they're nice and cleaned up, heat them up. So I heat these up to the point where they, they start to get kind of shiny, so they will actually look like they're starting to melt. Slip my pin in there all the way, and then I just dip it in the powder. And it's alright if the hole gets filled in a little bit. Um, most of the time, that'll open up. That'll open up. After you put it on the rack and start burning it in the oven, I'm just going to loosen this powder up because I forgot to. I don't use a fluid bed with this stuff. You can use a fluid bed. It's not really required. Careful not to burn yourself on the flame. Don't poke yourself with the hooks. I don't typically like using gloves, but... Limit your exposure as much as you can to the lead. So you see that kind of they're kind of powdery when you put put them on there like that. That heat is still in there though. Watch, it's starting to get shiny. I'm still going to put this on the jig rack though to cool it. Try not to bump them into each other. Sorry about the last video, I wasn't really feeling much like talking, so if you had any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Um, sometimes think when I talk in the videos, I don't know if it's any good or not, so I'm going to leave that up to the viewers. 
Do you like it when I kind of explain things? Let me know. I'm letting these cool down with these pins in them though because a small amount of paint will stick to the pin if you pull it out of there when it's still hot. So I let it, I put the pin in cold and I let it sit inside there so that there's minimal paint buildup around that. If you use the metal pins and you heat this up with the metal pin in it, you'll get that paint build up kind of like you have on the hook shank. Another reason why I like using these, um, the heat doesn't transfer as much into the Teflon style pins. With these um, recessed hook eyes, I leave the paint on them typically because it's just a pain to open them up and cut it all off. And uh, the Stardust paint is kind of more rubbery than other brands, um, so it's not real sharp on the on the line or anything so if the line does start to cut into it a little bit um, it won't break your line it's not going to be like a real sharp jagged end so. Gonna put it at 400. I gotta move this off of here too because the top of that guy gets very hot. And you notice that I always put the jigs on the rack from right to left because I'm right handed and it's easier for me just to drop them this way. It's kind of the way I've always done it. So when I grab them, I'll grab that one first to make sure it's all cleaned up and ready to go into the oven. Most of the time I'll fill this whole rack that I made up with jigs and then and then clean them up. So I'm going to set this one over here because that's the last one I'm going to do for now. Alright, be careful not to touch anything up on the top of that. They're, these get pretty hot. So I'm going to set it away from the wall. Lid on. Another thing is, is um, you can get a lot of moisture in this stuff and it doesn't affect it. Um, just let it dry out. I actually took this container here with a small amount of the stardust inside there yet. I mixed a bunch of water in this, stirred it all up, and then left it sit on the bench. And uh, all the water evaporated out of there. It was kind of chunky at first but just took my finger stirred it up and it's just just like it was before I put water in it so if you live in an area where moisture is affecting your powder paint this might be a, a great solution for you too it's just to um, 
and use this instead of other products because the moisture is not going to affect it. Okay, so I just pull these pins out, they just slip right out of there, and then you get no paint in the hole, no buildup around the hole, everything's good there. There's a little bit of paint on the hook shank back here. And I can simply just take that with my fingernail, just scrape it right off of there because it's not baked on yet. There's a couple tricky spots right back by this bait keeper though, so I'm just gonna grab it with my flush cutter. So after cleaning the hook shank up, put it in this clamp. I marked this side because that's the side that the adhesive's not on that high temp silicone gasket material that's in there. So it just makes it easier for me to place them where I want them. That's a piece that I just ripped off of that hook shank. So the cleanup is quite a bit easier than other brands as well. Which, which I find very nice. And this stuff is very durable, so that's nice as well. And then you kind of carefully take a razor blade and go around these, or just leave that little bit of paint on there. I'm sure after putting a skirt on it and uh, soft plastic trailer. It's not going to hurt anything. And if anything, it's more protection for the hook too, but I always just cleaned everything up. That's just me. You can do them how you want to do them. You got all these people that are always saying, well, the fish don't care. Well, a lot of people do care. So, and if you're selling them, a lot of people really want to uh, make sure that their stuff is as best as they can, the best quality as possible, going out the door. Should be throwing all these little scraps into the trash can, but Oven is about there. There it goes. So <clears throat> and like I said, you can fill up all your racks, holes you want them. So the big bench, place it in there. Oh, I'm gonna show you real quick. Because a lot of them, they did get shinier, but they're still not. 
still not perfect. There's still a little texture to them. And sometimes you do want that texture. And what you can do if you want kind of a matte finish, just get them hot. Make sure it's nice and shiny and all coated real well. And get it hot, let it cool down a little bit, and then sprinkle in some more paint. And then chill it in some water. Dunk it in the water real quick. And that will make it so that it, the paint, the, the second coat sticks into it, but um, doesn't like it doesn't have time to get all shiny and stuff so what I do is I keep an eye on these they usually take a minute or two and then take them out and they're ready to rock And I do have all their mitts, but they're in the other room. <laughs> so if you have any questions, though, be sure to ask in the comments. Um, and then... Um, if you have any ideas for more videos that you want to see or any certain colors, I have a few colors that I can do. Um, this one just works well on bass jigs and typically using the stand-up football heads for bass. So the green pumpkin green, green pumpkin brown both work really well. just about there so this is the green pumpkin brown So green pumpkin brown. So that's a green pumpkin brown too. And I'll show you the green pumpkin green. Way faster than. I'm just gonna shut that off. Just got these pliers. So fresh out of the oven. All the holes opened up. For the hook eyes, everything looks good. They look perfect. So, pretty easy to do. If you wanna try out a new product, get a small container of it. Don't be crazy. You get a pound of it, throw it in a Tupperware container. Um, the jars that it comes in, I mean, they, they fill these things plumb full. Um, get them from Lure Craft, or, and they're selling them on uh, Lure Parts Online. I'm going to show Green Pumpkin Green. I don't have any 
finish football heads with a green pumpkin green, but I do have a little poison tail. So that's a poison tail, green pumpkin green. They look so nice. And that is a football head and a green pumpkin green. So you can see even the skirt material and the fiber weed guard and everything look pretty darn sharp together. That's mold I modified too. So it has the bait keeper instead of the, the lead bait keeper, it has the metal bait keeper. I prefer the metal ones. I'm just going to let these cool down and then they're ready to put skirts and stuff on. Thanks again for watching and for your continued support. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, be sure to ask in the comments. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and share the videos with your friends. Have a great night.